This week I plan on finishing the joinery unit I'm building in the kitchen. It is a kitchen shelving slash boot room wardrobe which will also house the refrigerator. I began work on the storage part a while ago and now I will be continuing. I'm going to start by cutting the large sideboards to size and put those in place. After that I will be putting in the top and bottom structures and lastly work on the shelves and a coat rail. Can I talk in this? I can talk in this. I have a new mask. It looks very overkill, but I'm happy to have it for MDF. to snow. Oh, snow's no good right now. <laughs> Snowing again. Today is another day and I am continuing with this unit. So yesterday I ended up doing a bit more. I fitted this piece of side panel. There's a little recess in between the wall and the panel. I put this board in place here. But before I continue with this side, I'm actually going to redo the shelving. The shelves on the right side are about a centimeter too low so I really have to redo that and I need to take out this panel to do that and the fridge is obviously in the way.
I'm going to put the last large board in place. I've got some ventilation holes here. I was actually going to make more holes, but the, um, the little tool, the little contraption I was using, the wood just kept getting stuck in it. It just took ages. So this is to allow the refrigerator to ventilate out the back. Alrighty, let's put you in place. I painted the back side, which is behind the fridge. So that is done. How do I move this? Oh gosh. <laughs> this is not easy. Moving a sheet, which is taller than the ceiling, is tricky. I'm tall. I get too tall. still snowing according to the weather forecast it's not supposed to be snowing right now hopefully it will clear because I actually have some MDF my last MDF board to cut and I need to do that outside
No idea if I can do this. Look at that. This is so incredibly discouraging that's like one centimeter gaps even bigger there isn't really anything i can do about the gap so i will just have to find a way to fill it in uh let's continue with the shelves 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 let's make this thing real let's figure out the shelving i have decided that i am going to put two recycling bins here because I don't have any space for them anywhere else. They should just about fit. Yes, they do. So, and I've got these and two bins. I have, I have some narrow shelving because this is the MDF that I have left over. I have one shelf down here and then one shelf at the top and then a rail for clothing. This would go in the back here. I'm just wanting to make sure that there's enough space for everything but that's going to fit okay cool <laughs> i will place these brackets about seven centimeters above no about five centimeters above the top of the bins which makes it about 38 centimeters from here.
actually worked. Wow. I'm always surprised. I wish I could capture this better but the main structure is finished. There's quite a lot of finishing to do but all the main pieces are in. I have a wardrobe, I've got shelving, I wish I had things to fill in them. I should get some baskets to put tiny things in the baskets to fill in the shelves so it looks nicer. I have my two recycling bins with coats on top, some shelving, a fridge that has been nicely recessed within the units. I did have a bit of a brain fart though. I have this hole in the back of the unit which you can see and I need to find something to cover that. I don't have any MDF left but I have another thin sheet of some cardboard like material that I could use for that. But I am so excited to have this main structure in finally. It's funny how it takes ages and then suddenly it's sort of there.
walking the final 12 kilometers home. It's really nice. When I started, it wasn't it wasn't dark yet, but it's getting dark now. I'm getting close to home. I am actually a bit worried about the state of my house and what I am going to find. Before I left, I knew that it was going to be cold and I knew it was going to be freezing during the day and night, but it's actually frozen a lot more than the forecast at the time. What I did is I plugged in my heating cable so my water pipes have stayed warm and I put all of my plants and paint in my room in which I have a radiator which I turned on very low so it probably has been maybe five seven degrees or something in my room but I'm worried about the water pump house. I have a radiator in there which I would normally turn on when it gets really cold but I left it off because <laughs> I didn't think it was going to be that cold. Actually my main concern is my kitchen which has been cold so obviously I've got my tap, I've got my water filters, the under-counter water filters and the um, the countertop water filter, which may have frozen, and some oh look, oh, oh I'll just have to deal with it when when I get back, I guess. So that will be interesting. <laughs> look at that! That's my little house. <laughs> okay. Hello. I'm back. <gasps> oh. Oh, it looks so cute. <laughs> okay. These windows look very, very frozen. Okay. Oh, gosh. Everything looks so cold. truth oh wow it's not frozen oh my goodness okay but the tap what oh my gosh oh huh. I have a thing that fell this this that was that was at the top this oh my gosh what my house is alive. Oh, we survived. 